Hey guys, what's up? It's the Electrical Code Coach here, and this is the Electricians in Action, where we get together and we talk about the code every morning before we go out and fight the good fight. All right, so today, in the next few days, we're going to break down switches and receptacles in and around tubs and bathrooms. I feel like in the Electricians in Action this week, uh, you know, there's several different codes going on there, and I just want to bring some clarification. So first off, happy Monday. Let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so here's the score, guys. And we're going to do the 2017 today and the 2020 tomorrow. So in the 2017, it's pretty simple. You walk up to the shut tub or the shower space and you would draw a line from floor to ceiling, an imaginary line, and go all the way back to the wall that it ends at. And in that entire space, you're not allowed to put a switch or receptacle. And there is an exception for, exception for switches, and I'll talk about it here in just a minute. But as far as receptacles go, in that entire space, you're not allowed to put it, no questions asked. Now, as, as far as switches goes, you are allowed to install a switch there if it's part of a listed tub or shower assembly. Now, you guys can go read that code. I'll put the links in the description below. And you guys can let me know how you interpret that. I, the way that I interpret that, is that the actual tub surround or the shower surround, that assembly will be listed to have a switch in it. Uh, other parts of the code, they say unless it's listed to be inside that space. It would be a listed assembly to go inside that space. The way I read this one, it has to be actually part of the, you know, an integral part of the tub. So you guys can let me know what you think there. Okay, so receptacles, no. Switches unless it's a listed part of the tub assembly. Okay, now let's go to where you can have them. So let's assume that this is our shower, and this is the shower space where we're not allowed. In the 2017 code, as soon as you crest that shower space, you could put a two gang box and put a switch and a receptacle in it. No questions asked, done. You're just not allowed to put it in that space that we just talked about. So the 2017 is pretty simple. Now stick around for tomorrow, guys, because here's the score. It gets a little more convoluted and a little more complicated in the 2020. So even if you are in the 2017 or already in the 2020, I really encourage you to check it out in the 2017. You know, just take this video in, then check out the 2020 tomorrow, because we're going to start here before you guys know it. It's going to be 2023 updates, and I want to see how this thing builds and grows as we learn and we grow together. So guys, listen, be safe safe out there today. Remember, the only way that you lose is if you quit. Don't forget the reasons that you're doing this, the reasons you're going for your license, the reasons that you're out here working. You can do it. I'm here to encourage you. I'm here to help you. Let's go ahead and get to it.